Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can create line chart in your Flutter application. In this tutorial, we will be using this FL chart package which you can find in pub.dev. Next, go to installing and copy the latest version of the package. Go back to your project and look for pubspec.yaml file. Add the package dependency that you copied just now in your project. In this tutorial, I will be creating a line chart that relates to the price of an object. Now, I will be creating a price point class that used to create the price point object. In this price point class, it will contain two variables. One is the index and one is the price value. And both variables represent the x axis and y axis in the line chart respectively. Now I will create a function that would return a list of the price point object. And here is where we create each price point object. And in this tutorial, I will be using some static data for the purpose of this tutorial. So here I've created a data variable, which is a list that contains a double value. And I will insert some static value in the data list. In your case, you could retrieve the value from API call or stream from Firebase or anywhere. Next, I will be mapping the data variable which contains a list of double values into the price point class and create an instance for each of the value. There are many ways that you can do the mapping but for my practices i would use map index and at the end pass it to list so at this point we have our class and we have a method that maps all the data into the class and create the instance that we can use to draw the line chart. Next, I will be creating the line chart widgets. So just now we created a function that will return a list of price point. Now in this line chart widget, it will take a list of price point as an argument so that we can pass the returned list of price point object into this widget and use to draw the line chart. Now we will start create the line chart widget. Now we need to map all the instance of price point class to the line chart. Next, we can add some customization to the line chart that provided by the package.
So now we have created a simple line chart widget which we can use in anywhere in the app. To have a clearer view, I will add aspect ratio widget to the line chart. Now in the main file, we just have to call the line chart widget that we created just now and place it into a container widget. And don't forget, the line chart widget we created just now takes a list of price point object as an argument. So we need to pass the function where it returns a list of price point to the line chart widget. Now let's run the Flutter application and see how it looks like. As you can see, a line chart is created in the Flutter application. Now let me try to change some value and see how the line graph changes. As you can see, when I change the value inside the list of double, the whole graph changed. So now you can change the value inside the data variable or replace it with the data that you got from an API call or you stream from anywhere like Firebase and it will reflect on the line chart. Here comes to the end of this tutorial. This package is really awesome and is maintained by a community and they provide more chart options like bar chart and more animation if this video surpass 100 likes i will do a series on other type of charts if you like my video do like share and subscribe to our channel see you in the next tutorial